I would like to take the credit for the person Terry Lynn Copeland Pearsons is, but truthfully, that must be shared with many others. After all, she lived with me for just 20 years in one day and George for 30. Her nanny and granddad, Kenneth's parents, were such a great and loving influence in her life and especially in her Christian growth. And having Kenneth and Gloria just put heaps of icing on that cake. Terry was the apple of everyone's eye. She was the first great-grandchild in her grandmother's family, making her the first baby for all the aunts and uncles and cousins to fuss over. And the family on my side were no different. Babysitting was never a problem. In fact, I was known to turn down offers. It was always amazing to me how she could blend with all the different kinds of people at such a young age. She was a favorite among the customers of my parents' business where people nipped a little and go straight to the Bible study with Nani and never blink an eye. I think it's interesting that as far as I know, I am the only mother who had a mom call and say she would not permit her nine-year-old daughter to play with my seven-year-old daughter if she didn't quit talking about God and Jesus and getting saved. That was the nun's job. Being Terry's mom has been a delightful experience. She was a wonderful baby, and I think she even skipped the terrible twos. Terry was seldom in trouble and made an effort to keep everyone happy with her. She displayed tremendous self-discipline when she was quite young. And I remember a family outing to the drive-in. While her brother and sister enjoyed a movie, Terry did her homework by flashlight. And she really was a tough role model for her brother Gary and sister Becky. Oh, how they loved it when she messed up. And to this day, if they remember something on her, they love telling me about it. Her school days were filled with fun and accomplishments. And did you know this pastor of yours was a pretty good softball player who could hit the ball, run fast, and she didn't do that girly throwing either. She was on the Stripling team board whose members were selected from throughout the county, named as one of the nation's outstanding teens, and was one of her high school's top 10 students. I was so proud of her producing her junior high school's first newspaper, and she continued her journalism accomplishments in high school, being the first person to hold the position of editor for two years. Then came ORU and her vision for her dad being on television, and, well, you know the rest. I must admit, though, I did question her judgment when she brought George home a Yankee from Massachusetts. And I just knew he was gonna take my baby away to that foreign land. I should have known Terry better than that. Of course, it didn't take me long to realize she did know what she was doing. She got the best guy ever, and he loves Texas. I admire Terry for the person she is, her self-discipline, her compassion and caring heart, her knowledge, and especially for the purity of her love and commitment to God and to this congregation. But for me, her most outstanding attribute is being a wonderful and loving daughter.